Hey, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create this beautiful landing page with the Confluence app Aura. Alright, let's go! Alright, let's begin by having a closer look how this page has been created. Click on the edit button and now you see the page in the edit mode. As you can see, nearly all Aura macros are showing you a real-time preview right in the edit mode. I have used several Aura macros to create this page like the Aura background content, which displays this beautiful image of the mountain here in the background. I've also used Aura titles to insert bigger texts to really catch the attention of the reader. Here you can see Aura cards. I'm quickly switching to the edit mode so you're able to see them. And last but not least, we are using Aura buttons to create nice buttons to link to our content. Now we are ready to go to create this page from scratch. You can create a new page or edit an existing one. And the first thing that you want to do is to open up the macro browser. And now search for Aura macros. The first macro that you want to use is the Aura background content macro. After clicking on that once, this Aura dialog appears and the first thing that you want to do here is to add a background image. Click on that button here and now you are able to select if this image should be gathered from an attachment of, um, of a space in, in your confluence or from a URL in the web. And I want to do the URL in the web method here. Um, since I want to show you my personal workflow, I want to show you a very nice page where you can get beautiful images. So this page is called unsplash.com. And if you search for Michael Liao and scroll down a little bit, you will see his picture here that I have used. The cool thing about Unsplash, just to mention that, is that all the pictures here are free. You can use them everywhere in every content. You don't have to pay for that. This is really, really nice. And simply click on that once. And what you want to do is you want to open this image in a new tab. So now you have it here. And now copy the image address. You need really the image address of this uh, of this image now go back to confluence and insert it here after you've done that you can click here on this link again and now you see parts of that image now we want to adjust this um, the first thing that you want to do is to adjust the minimum height we will go up to 1200. So now you see much more of this or you should see much more of this image. The next thing is the first drop down here, adjust that to center. So now you saw that the content that you will insert in the future will be inserted here in the middle and uh, everything will be centered automatically. Um, what you can also do is, if you use another image, you can adjust it a little bit here. And um, another, another very nice thing is, if your image is too bright or too dark, there's a nice trick how you can enhance the readability later on of maybe text that you will show in front of this image. So just to mention it here, use the background color and um, now you see that uh, a gray color has been applied. Gray is not the color that I want. First of all, I want black. And now with the opacity here, you're able to um, yeah, set up um, so uh, how bright or how dark the image should be. So if you go here to zero, of course, the color is not applied, but if I'm going to the right just a little bit, you see that my picture is getting darker and I don't know, I will leave it here on 30 
and we will check that later on if this is okay. So now hit the save button and that's it. You have inserted your first Aura background content macro. The next thing that we want to do is to insert the spacing and the two titles. To do that, open up once again the macro browser and once again the Aura background content here. In this case, we want to use it as a spacer. So you can just leave everything like that. This is the space that we want to use. So maybe 400 is a little bit too high. Let's go down to 200, click on save. And there you go, this is my space. I even think it's too big. Let's go to 100. So this looks better. Now I will click just below that. You can barely see the cursor here, but it's below that. And now we want to insert the Aura title macro. In this case, you want to, or I want to align the text here like that. Bold is okay. The font size, I want to adjust the font size so you can do it here um, to, let's say like this. And the color should be white. And if you want to use the standard um, macro of confluence to create the table of contents, you can do so. And um, if you want that this title should appear in that table of content, um, you can choose the headline. And if not, you can simply choose the paragraph here. But in this case, I don't mind. I will leave everything exactly like that and hit the save button. And now we can insert our text. Again, open up the macro browser and select the aura title. In this case, we want to center it again. And but this 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 time we don't want to use the bold weight. We want to use the light weight. This is also very nice font. I think um, we want to adjust this a little bit down to yeah that's okay i think and we again we want to adjust the color to white and maybe if we will use the table of content we will go to paragraph here but it doesn't matter in this case and again we can insert our text here like that so click again below the aura title and now I want to insert the life search. So the life search is a constant standard macro. This is how it looks if you don't adjust it. I really like if you select the large size option here because then you don't have if you go back, you don't have this button outside, you see that the button is gone. And um, this is just much clearer and nicer. So I prefer this um, option. And uh, if you want to um, show the, the reader some advices here, you can add them here in the placeholder text. So for example, something like um, search knowledge base and if you hit the preview button yeah this looks fine and we want to center that again so that everything looks better here um, now i will hit enter once so you see that the cursor is barely visible here this is something that we will um, adjust and we will um, help you with that in the future um, so the next thing is we want to insert aura cards. So this is this macro here. And with this macro, you're able to create beautiful cards that are organized 
automatically. So since we want to use four cards, use the four column option. So now you see we have four columns and also click on the plus. So now you see for the first time four different cards. Now we want to um, adjust those cards. Um, and the first thing that we want to do is to select the card type. So you can choose between only text or icons or like in this case with beautiful images. Those images again are automatically um, inserted from Unsplash. And um, we want to adjust the image size here a little bit. Maybe like that. So you can do that as you like. And um, there are plenty of things to, to play around. Maybe if you don't like this hover effect, you can also use the shrink effect. So this is like the opposite. So this is nice. And um, if you want to have more margin between the cards, you can do it like that. Or if you don't want any margin, you can do beautiful things like this. And if you need more space here for your um, texts, you can also adjust that. But I will leave that like that. And um, now I want to adjust the cards, you know, themselves. So simply click on the card. And now we switched from the general tab into the content tab. Here, you're able to adjust the selected card. You see that with the blue um, selection here. Um, you can adjust the content of this card. So for example, you can now insert your text. So getting started. And then you can also adjust the content of this text here. I will just leave it there. You know, this is very self explainable here. And um, now you can also add the link. So if you click on add link, this link dialog appears and you are able to link um, to, to the content um, of your choice. So it could be a confluence page, it could be also an attachment, it could, could uh, be a web page, or if you're using anchors, you can also use that. So I'm, I personally never used those anchors because it was always really hard to link to them. But with Aura, it's very easy because if you inserted anchors, they will be shown here and you just select them and um, you can, yeah, now use anchors much better than before. So I will just leave it like that. And um, here on the, uh, in the decoration section, in the image section, you are able to select again um, the image of your choice by either using um, an attachment or uh, a URL. Um, in this case, you see that an Unsplash um, image has been automatically inserted here. So I will hit the save button and now the Aura cards are shown with or are represented by this icon here. Okay, next we want to insert again another Aura background content just below the Aura cards here. So click behind the Aura cards, hit the enter key once, and now simply copy the Aura background content and paste it just below the Aura cards. I want to give this Aura background content a little bit more height and also center the content in here. It's safe. Now I want to insert an Aura button. And um, let's assume that you want to link, for example, to a Google Play Store entry. So insert this text, the desired text here in the label field and also provide a link. Um, I will skip that here in this demo. And now I want to adjust the color. I want to use white. And I also want to adjust the visuals here. I want that the 
button is shown as an outline button and if you hover over it, it will get filled with the color. Another thing that I want to insert here is an icon because the Play Store has a nice icon. So I will search for that. There it is. And now you see I have the corresponding icon here and I will hit save. And now you see there's my button. I will click on that again and align it here. And uh, you saw that I have used three different buttons. So if you want to use more, um, I recommend to, for example, click behind the button, hit two times the space bar, for example. And um, you can simply also copy that button. Just click on it and um, press um, Command C on your keyboard, Command V. Now we have another identical one. I will click behind that button and hit two times space button and do the same again. So we have three um, identical uh, buttons here. Now I will adjust the second one uh, because uh, I want to link it to the, um, to the uh, app store and also search for the correct um, icon here. So this is okay. Don't forget to adjust the link in this case. And uh, in this one here, maybe to the uh, Windows store. And let's search for Windows. There it is. And there you go. So now let's hit the update button and uh, let's have a look how this page looks like in the view mode. So what I want to adjust now is the spacing. So I don't like that the title here and the second title that they are um, so close to each other. And I also don't like that the search knowledge base life search um, macro here is also so close to the to the cards. So let's uh, enter the edit mode again. And uh, let's adjust that a little bit. So what you can do with the titles is um, you can click on them, you can edit them again, of course. And there is a advanced option here. So select line height manually. This is what we want to do. We want to activate that. And now we want to adjust the select li uh, the, the line height here to, to maximum and hit save. So if we update that, we will see what happened. You will see that we have now much more space. So now I think um, everything is much lighter. And um, this this uh, the issue that I had before with the titles is now gone. Um, I don't, but, but the other issue here is still there. So we will go again into the edit mode. And what we need is again, a spacer like this one here, the, our background content. And I will just copy that. And um, we will insert that just after the live search. So click here behind the live search, hit enter once. And now copy that background content to this um, specific place here. So maybe this is a little bit too much space. So I will go to down to 50. And now let's, let's uh, update the page. And yeah, so this is what I wanted. So everything is fine. And uh, this page, this beautiful landing page can be used. We hope that this video helps you to create beautiful landing pages. Thank you for watching and check out also our other tutorials. See you next time.